Good day to you. This is part three of the Mudrunner editor tutorial. We're going to start putting scenery on the map. What you can do with scenery is one, um, you can draw roads. That's another way of drawing roads and pathways. And it's a way of using materials to uh, add textures to the map like grass and rocks and um, things like that. So you open the materials tree and by default it starts as it starts with this grass to dirt material. Now this uh, this starts off at 50 with the value. Um, the size is obviously the size and that defaults to 6. When you open it it starts at 6. This is your um, brush editor or brush tool it controls the brushes um, and what this what the size is is obviously the size of the texture or what you're painting like if you turn that up it's going to be larger by default it's six the value it controls which one of these two textures the material is going to display when you draw it. Um, think of this first grass texture as, as zero. The closer to zero you are on this thing, the more prominent the grass is going to draw when you draw it. The closer to one you are, the more prominent the dirt is going to be in this when you paint it. 50 isn't going to do anything because it's that's zero pretty much. It's not going to draw either of the textures. Um, some people do this and they swap these around like right now my I mainly have dirt and if you want your map to be mainly grass and then draw the dirt roads into it you just simply press on this press key and switch them around select dirt for the grass texture or zero and select grass for the dirt texture or one and then you would like I said the closer to zero you are on the value, the more prominent the grass texture will be. The closer to one you are on the value, the more prominent the dirt's going to be. So I'm going to draw a little patch of grass around my garage and What in the world? I don't know why it did that, but we'll delete that. So, how you draw, how you do this and and draw is you right click and just hold the right click and then move your mouse around, and then when you're done, you left click on the scenery. Now I don't know why it drew that crazy thing there, but we're going to get rid of that and how you do that is you m make the texture go to the dirt texture because the, my dirt is the primary thing. Um, how Now say I want to draw a little road in here, a dirt path, I simply Give, go towards the dirt and change my size. Six is a good size for the roads. That's what they are by default. And you draw a little road in there. One thing, good thing to do as you're doing this is to right click on the map and select build terrain that's rewriting the STG file to 
and all your texture files to um, put these changes into it and then you want to save it so there our map is saved and we'll move on to more scenery in part two